Let's take out the panoramic camera. There are bracket of camera, auxiliary tooling, screws, panoramic camera, screwdriver. Take off the adapter of camera and V-shape port. You need to notice that the screen side on the auxiliary tooling, which should be keep same direction with camera screen and adapter. There is a white point on the adapter, you need to make the white point upward. Align the screen side face to same direction as camera screen. Install a screw from bottom, Take off the auxiliary tooling, install V-shape port, install final two screws. So far, the installation of the panoramic camera has been completed. And then you need to install the panoramic camera onto the bracket. So first, turn the scanner upside down and put the bracket onto the bottom of device. Install the handle. The installation of bracket has been completed. Check whether the silicone gasket of the camera bracket fits the equipment. If it doesn't fit properly and does not come into contact with equipment, you need to replace a bigger one. Now, you can install the panoramic camera onto the bracket and tighten the adjacent screw. So far, all of installations has been completed. Let's see how to capture data. First, check whether the version of SmartGo is latest. After connecting to the Wi-Fi of device, click the Connect Device button. Check whether the version of firmware is latest. Click the Start Capture. Click the Setting button in upper right corner and enter the camera setting. You can choose the Bluetooth connection or USB connection. Click the Find Device. Click the Bluetooth of the panoramic camera and waiting the connection. Check the connection status if it's changed to connected. Click the orange button on the left to create a project. Select a capture scenarios. Keep the device stable horizontally until the pop-up disappears. The data is capturing. After the capture is finished, Click the orange button on the left again to stop the project and waiting for the laser and video to be saved. Alright, thanks for watching.